Hi, boys and girls. It's good to see you here again. Let's sing our song of welcome to each other as we prepare to hear our story today. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Here is our purple box again. And it reminds me that we are celebrating this season of Lent the time when we celebrate the mystery of Easter. This is the season of Lent when we are all traveling on the road to Jerusalem. But who will show us the way? Jesus will show us the way. Once a year, God's people would travel to Jerusalem, God's holy city, to celebrate Passover, to remember when God parted the waters and brought them to freedom. It was on his way to Jerusalem when Jesus met a blind man named Bartimaeus and healed him. It was on his way to Jerusalem where he stopped in the temple and he chased away all of the money changers and the buyers and the sellers. It was on his way to Jerusalem that he stopped in to visit his friends in Bethany and Mary anointed Jesus' feet with special perfume. Finally, it was Passover. Jesus was with his disciples in an upper room. Jesus knew it was the last meal that he would be sharing with his disciples. So he got up, stood back, took off his robe, put on a towel, and started to wash the feet of Simon Peter. Simon couldn't believe what Jesus was doing. No, Simon said, I should be washing your feet. No, Simon, said Jesus, I need to watch, wash your feet. Simon Peter again refused. But Jesus said, you will let me do this if you want to be one of mine. Then wash my whole body, said Simon Peter, from my head all the way to my toes. And Jesus just said, no, Simon Peter, the rest of you are, is clean. I just need to clean your feet. So Jesus bent down and he poured the water and he washed Simon Peter's feet. 
Then he got back up and looked at his friends. And then Jesus said, now you are clean, Peter, but some of you are not clean. And Jesus looked at Judas. Then Jesus talked to the rest of the disciples and said, you're wondering why I wanted to wash your feet. You call me teacher and rabbi, and surely that is what I am. But in order to be a disciple, you need to follow my example. And when you follow my example, you will be a blessing to others. I wonder what the disciples were thinking when they were gathered around this table celebrating the Passover together. I wonder what Jesus was thinking when he got up to prepare to watch Simon Peter's feet. I wonder what the other disciples thought when they saw what Jesus was doing. I wonder what Judas thought when Jesus looked at him and talked about somebody at the table not being clean. I wonder if the disciples will understand what Jesus meant by being an example. And I wonder if any of you can find yourself at the table here with Jesus. This was our fifth story during the season of Lent. We have one more to go.